Today, I thought, since season three of Stranger Things is coming out soon, I would make this hand Demogorgon. Yeah, so basically, it's just one of those fortune teller things made to look like a Demogorgon. And there's a little surprise. It has Stranger Things sayings on the inside. What? So, yeah. Let's get down to it. What do we need? First, you will need a piece of cardstock. Then you will need a pair of scissors. And last but not least on the list is colored pencils. I just broke one, so let me sharpen that. Okay, now that that's fixed, we're going to take our piece of paper and from the top right corner, we're going to fold it down so that the corners match. This is to make it a perfect square like this. Just fold along the line. Make sure you get a nice and good crease. Okay, next, we're gonna take our scissors and cut off all this extra paper. Now that we have our perfect square, so perfect, we are going to fold in all of the corners to make another square. So I just like to start with the top right corner every time. Fold like this. Just do this all the way around until you have your perfect square. Booyah! And as you can see, it's not perfect at all. I don't know why I kept saying perfect, but that's okay because it will work out anyway, you know? Yeah, and it's great. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Now, we're gonna flip it over so it's a blank canvas and do the same thing, except on the other side. Fold in all of the corners, like so, until it's all done. Oh yeah, that's just true perfection right, right there. Yeah, no. Anyway, this will work. So, this is going to be the outside, um, the veiny part, and this is going to be the inside, the teeth part. So now this is where our handy dandy colored pencils come in. I really should stop doing that. I keep breaking them. We are going to use tan, pink, red, and brown for this. So put the other ones aside for now. And you're just going to start by... Hold on, I have to sharpen this. <laughs> Now, repeat the same process with the tan pencil. I don't know if anyone noticed, but uh, I did wear my Stranger Things t-shirt just for the video. So, yeah. And also, I know Demogorgons have five flap things on their faces, but I, I don't know. Put in the comments if you know how to give this five flaps, because I don't, but... Yeah. Okay. 
now that we are done with the tan, we are going to take the brown pencil and just kind of rough it up on the edges. Shade all of the edges, like here. And you know, just kind of like go up in the corners, like this, for every single side, just to get some shading and depth. Boom. Let me get a bang better angle, can't talk, to show you what this looks like. This is what she looks like so far. Just show you what it should look like. Yep, let's move on. Next step is adding the veins. So I'm gonna take my pink pencil and my brown pencil and I am going to just kinda do random jagged lines throughout it, like veins, and like do the same thing. It broke again. Hold on. <sighs> Fixed it. As I was saying, take your pink pencil and do the same thing on top of the brown veins and um, do it all over the whole entire thing until you are finished. Ta-da! Now um, for the final step on this side of our Demogorgon. I'm just gonna take my tan pencil and my red pencil and just put shading wherever I think it needs to be. There we go, I just put more tan around it and I put some red in the corners because this is going to be the inside of the mouth to look like blood. So now we're going to move on to the back. Hey, changed the angle. Let me know in the comments if you like this angle or the other one better because this is my first video and I'm just trying out new things. So yeah, this side I will say does take quite longer of a time, but that's just because you have to do all the teeth. But uh, yeah, so again, we're just going to start by shading the whole thing with the pink pencil. For the next part, we're going to take our red and shade it lightly over the whole thing until you kind of get a color like this. So we did that, and as you can see, I actually kind of did it lighter than I did over here, so you might want to do that. Okay, next step, I'm gonna take our brown pencil and draw on all of the teeth. And this is the part that um, takes the longest time, but you could do it. And by longest time, I mean like two minutes, but yeah. And this is where I filmed the rest of the video in time lapse. I just basically did some shading, added an X, added some sayings and Christmas lights, pupped it out, and yeah, um, enjoy this. Oh no, the lights are blinking. That means there's a Demogorgon nearby.